So Muslims went on another flagging campaign and YouTube unjustly suspended my channel, Universe Freedom, due to false flaggings. But this time they got caught. Several Muslim groups have set up channels all over YouTube with the intent of flagging videos and suspend people who criticize Islam. One of these channels is Flagged Zionists. This is his YouTube webpage. The following email was sent out by him to his friends and subscribers who sent it by mistake to a friend of mine. I cannot reveal the name of my friend, but YouTube can check the system and verify what I'm saying. The email teaches them how to get anti-Islam accounts suspended under the pretense of hate speech. One of the channels to be targeted and mentioned in this email was mine. Let's take a look at the email. At the beginning, he starts to praise the Muslims that are doing a good job at having accounts suspended. Then he goes on stating the tasks of each Muslim involved in the operation. For example, this sister 20711-2351 is an expert at flagging videos. I will let you read the email for yourselves. Pause the video whenever you need more time to, to read closely. And here's the part where my, you can see that my channel has been targeted for suspension. Very dangerous Zionist channels. If we suspend these channels first, we can erase many videos. The trick here is to suspend channels with many videos first. There you have my name, Universe Freedom. And They've also posted videos asking other Muslims to flag my channel. The videos have been removed by YouTube, but YouTube staff can verify what I'm saying. Not only they flagged my videos, but even bragged about it by letting me know that they were flagging me. This comment was posted by anti zions on my page right before I got suspended. I also found out that another Muslim group set up a blog, this one, asking people to flag videos and some YouTube users. Even Pat Condell is listed here. There are groups of Muslims all over YouTube that are doing the same thing as flag the Zionist channel. Like, for example, this one uh, that incites Muslims to flag videos critical of Islam. The videos that were flagged and removed were one about Sharia law, the second one which was initially posted by Clingshore and Snow Walker one. You can still find the same video all over YouTube. And it was about Mohammed and his six years old wife, and it was explaining to Muslims that what Mohammed did was wrong. But Muslims don't like to hear the truth about the Prophet and his relationship with the child, so they get your account suspended. The last video removed by YouTube was a preview of a PBS frontline documentary about the dancing boys of Afghanistan. 
I posted a link on the description box under this video for you to watch the documentary. You can see the entire documentary all over YouTube. Simply search Pachabazi or Dancing Boys of Afghanistan. In case you're wondering about copyrights, I did not infringe upon, upon anyone's copyrights. It was just a preview of about five minutes, not the entire documentary, prepared under fair use guidelines. It was removed not because of copyrights issues anyway. YouTube claimed it was not appropriate. How can raising awareness of the issue of child abuse through a preview of a PBS documentary be inappropriate? So how can we help these children, victims of this abuse, if people are not allowed to report on what's happening to them? How can such a human tragedy be solved if people are not made aware of what is happening to these children? But perhaps YouTube did not review the content of the videos removed, and I wanted to see if it was the case. So I opened up a new channel and made a video using this icon. I entitled the video in almost the same way as the preview of the PBS documentary that had been flagged and removed. I uploaded the video and flagged it and then asked a lot of my friends to flag it over and over again. Now watch what happens. Soon enough, this is what happened. My video was rejected due to violation of YouTube guidelines. A badge is a pin stating I love free speech violates YouTube guidelines. This to me shows that anyone can abuse the flagging system and have users suspended. I proved that I've been a victim of a flagging campaign. I proved how easy it is to get users suspended. I'm not upset with YouTube, it's a business, they can do whatever they want to. I'm simply stating that they made a mistake in suspending my channel and that mistake should be rectified. YouTube has to recognize its position and role in free speech and the free flow of information. The essence of a democracy is the public's right to know and the free dissemination of ideas in order that the best ideas win out in the end. I'm not upset with Muslims, I feel sorry for them, because they are unable to defend their religion with arguments but need to resort to cheap tactics and censorship. That's quite pathetic. <laughs> My channel, Universe Freedom, should be reinstated. Muslims need to stop flagging videos in an attempt to censor the critics of their religion. Thank you so much to all of my friends and subscribers that have supported me. If you believe in free speech, contact YouTube and ask to have my channel reinstated. Thank you so much for listening.